Alright, hey there fellow YouTubers. Uh, we're going to do some more work on our bell. And this has about, uh, oh, between 8 and 10 coats of black lacquer. Look at that thing, it's just so nice and shiny. And say, well, why would you want to do any more to it? Well, I don't know how well you can see that, and I'm going to try and turn it different ways. But I've sanded a little bit right there, and you can see that there's lots of high spots and low spots, and those are the result of what we call orange peel. And uh, basically that's all the little splatter points when you're spraying it on that dries that way. And so what we're going to do now, I'm using some 2000 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to very lightly sand this to take those high spots off. And that's why we put so much paint on it, so that you have enough that you can take it off and get it smooth without actually sanding through the paint. And the idea is I want to get rid of all of that orange peel. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do it again in my uh, sink as a dry it doesn't clog uh, dry it will clog up the sandpaper real quick and using water it won't clog it up so quickly so let me go and do that you don't need to watch because you've seen me doing that before but I'll go and do that and I'll bring it back and I'll show you the finished product before we start the next process which will be rubbing this out and what we'll be doing then when we rub it out is to get rid of um, all the tiny scratches that we have put back into it by using the sandpaper to get it smooth and we'll bring back the shine and then after we've rubbed it out we'll put some wax on it. Okay, next step coming up. Okay, yeah, now i finished sanding it and um, now you can see it is, it's almost like a flat black now. It has a satin sheen to it because of all the sanding I've done. Now the next step is we want to bring our luster back. And I have been using a microfiber cloth to dry it with. And you can see some of the black paint that came off in the process. Just very, very fine. We use a microfiber because they're really, really soft and they're lint free. And uh, so the next step is we're going to do some rubbing. Okay, so now we'll start the rubbing process. Let's see what we can do to bring our shine back. And uh, I'm not using a real rubbing compound this time. I'm trying something a little bit different I haven't used before. This is actually scratch and swirl remover. And it might be too fine for what I'm trying to do at the moment. And it's starting to bring the shine back. cloth here. Well, you can see the difference there and there. It's starting to come back. Let's try a little bit more aggressive method. Let's try using some real rubbing compound. Shall we? Now I told you I was using the scratch and swirl remover. That's what I was using first. And it's doing okay, but I think it's best left to doing the final before we wax it. It's not taking it off enough. So we're going to try using this now. This is rubbing compound. Let me do the clean to dry it's off just a little bit. bit. We'll see what we can have to do here. Let it dry. Buffing it off. Yeah, 
tree is starting to come back. See that? Yes, sir. A little more rubbing to go. And uh, I'll do the whole thing. We'll finish it with a rubbing compound, and then we'll go back to the swirl remover to get rid of the little tiny scratches and really bring the shine up. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, me doing it. I'll bring it back to show you the results. Put it all by hand. Fashion way. And there we are after rubbing it with the uh, rubbing compound and then the scratch remover. Now it still has a little bit of a haze to it and I think we'll get the rest of that out by waxing it. Okay. Buffing it. Now we're going to so wax it. The next step. And uh, we're sticking with the same brand all the way through is Turtle Wax. Super hard shell, and it says to dampen your applicator. Now, if I can do this without dropping it and putting a big dinger in it somewhere, it just says put it on. Okay, fellas, there you have it. i got to tell you that I was not happy with the results of the Turtle Wax Scratch X. So I went for some of this, and it seemed to do a much better job. Now, agreeably, um, I had was going over what I had already done before, but this seemed to do it much better and much quicker. And I don't think I would have ever got the finish that I did uh, if I hadn't used that. And uh, I wonder if my wax would have even looked better if I had Meguiar's wax on there instead of the turtle. But, you know, uh, we are uh, getting a little over our heads here uh, because uh, we still have to deal with this. And no matter how much I sand and how much I buff on this, it's never going to be as smooth and shiny as that. But I'm going to keep on working on it. It's uh, I've done some sanding as you can see. i got more priming and more glazing to do. Um, so it'll be a few more days and i got somebody coming to look at my place tomorrow again. Um, and i got a mess down here. I mean, i got a mess from working on this and other projects and, and I started puttering with that horn. I did get it to beat once uh, but I think I need to clean the brushes on it. So this is it for now and uh, once I get the bell uh, ready to paint then I will pick up again. Like I said it'll be a, a couple more days probably towards the end of the week now and uh, so Thanks for watching this old horn, and this is George, your Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks, and come again soon.